What's up, everybody? Y'all come on in. Y'all come on in. Got some cool things to tell y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. What up, Miss Mimi? What up, Darren? <laughs> Greetings, looking forward to the miss. Yeah, we're gonna get in. We're gonna go in here. Talk to some ancestors since I've been gone, man. Got some things they want to tell y'all, some messages here. Cause y'all, so y'all come on in. Give them a few more seconds, minutes. And we'll get started. get started let me go in let me tell you what's going on here i know y'all the, the the topic was interesting here <sighs> well let me begin here it was uh um, about two or three weeks ago yeah about two or three weeks ago uh, i went to go see the movie the green book with uh dr don shirley who was a master pianist he was he was famous all over this mofo, and he was uh he was uh known all across the country as being one of the baddest classical pianists ever. Even though they wouldn't call him a classical pianist, so I went to go see the movie. The movie was dope. It was all about the heart chakra. That's the name Green Book. He had everything except. Uh, he didn't have too many people in his reality, you know. When you when you when you successful like that, sitting on your crown like that, because he even sat on the throne in the movie. Uh, you 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 kind of lose contact with the the people sometimes, you know. So that's what he went through. So his journey was to uh, he was on the whole journey to reactivate his heart chakra for the most part, and he did it. And they even put a green uh, uh, stone in the gym, a uh, green stone in the movie, which represented the heart chakra. The car was green. Pretty much, there's a lot of green in the movie to let you know what the lessons was for this particular storyline. So, 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 y'all check him out. Research his story. Check out the movie. It was real good between him and his friend. Between him and his friend, um, Tony, uh, Tony, they just call him Tony Lip. I'm just going to call him that, uh, don't 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 really remember his last name. <laughs> so 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 it's a real good movie. Y'all check it out. Y'all go see it. It should be. And I noticed they didn't even really. Uh, they didn't even uh, advertise this. But yet it was it was a huge success in the box box office. It only cost like twenty three million to make the movie. I think the movie made over one hundred thirty million dollars. You know. So 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 they just let you know what the movie was about. Now. What makes this interesting is, uh, after I got the watching the Green Book movie, what up, Brandon? Uh, after I got the watching the Green Book movie, uh, I was in my car researching, and I I had came across some some uh, you know some Black Panther teachings. Um, one of them was some quotes from Hero P. Newton, and the the other one was uh. That ten point program, you know, you know, the ten, the 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 they, they pretty much they uh what they wanted to do, pretty much they they game plan, 
that they wanted to um, initiate and achieve with the Black Panther Party. So that's pretty much what the 10 point program is about. So I so so I went to, I saw so, um I set up shop to go, you know, to 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 deal with that. You see what I'm saying? I I, I read it, checked it out, and it was pretty dope. Then after that, uh, I got contacted by Hugh P. New and uh the Ancestral Ram. So we sat down and we talked, whatever, and he was telling me all the things that was going on with the Black Panther Party and um, you know, the struggle. Uh, what was uh how 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 things rose, how things climax, how things decayed, and how things fell, and he even told me like, nah, the Cointel Pro didn't beat us, we beat us first because uh, the Black Empire started fracturing, you know there was uh they started coming uh more tribal, you see what I'm saying, because one 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 leader wanted to do this, whereas another leader wanted to do that. And he said he had a real big problem with the Black Panther Party out there in Africa. So, so, so. And they show you that in the documentary, how they fell out. They wanted to just uh, go to war and fight all day. But he P. Newton was like, nah, we need, we need to set up programs, uh, reference programs and everything to keep people healthy, stable, you know, functioning. Or, 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 or it won't be no revolution. And he proved to be right at the end of the day. They, they, they came, uh... And that's when Cointel Pro came in and started shutting down shop, infiltrating from within, killing off all the leaders, and exiling everybody. So this 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 is, this is what you're dealing with. Now, uh, I was continuing to talk to Hugh P. New, and he was like, "Marvin, would you deliver a message for me?" I'm like, "Sure, sure. I write it down. Tell me what it is." And uh, he gave me the message, and I wrote it down right here. And uh, he want he he, he wanted me to tell y'all what's going on here, so y'all can be uh, more readily, um, so so y'all can know what's going on at this time. Now, I, I put it in the form of a letter, so that y'all can understand. So so that's that's the way I formatted it. I chose to format it, and here we go. This is what he said in the message. He said, he said, dear people of the world. I come through with this message to let you know that the revolution will not be televised, but it will be digitized, which basically means that it's going to be online now. You know, the revolution is online, social media, Facebook. You see, all of us are, all of us are, um, uh, fight, fighting the power now through, uh, this new technology that we got. You see what I'm saying? What up, Brian? And, uh, so, 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 so. Like he said, the revolution won't be televised because nobody even watching TV no more. So how is it going to be televised? You see what I'm saying? Nobody even really watching TV. The only time we watch TV is when we get on there to watch Netflix, Internet TV, Stars or some shit like that, or Hulu. That's the only time we really, really even get up, get, uh, w uh, turn on our TVs nowadays. So, 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 so that's what he meant by, but it will be digitized. You see what I'm saying? It will be, it will be. Uh, on the internet now, the, the the last war is digital. We 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 fight now through the, the these these mediums that then pop up: YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, these, these this is the new battleground. You see what I'm saying? Here on the physical plane, in a way, cause on, on the physical plane, it's information war. You see what I'm saying? What else wrong? So 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 here we go. Next, he says, um. Uh, the revolution is no longer physical, it is astral. What does he mean by that? Uh, now, this is what I meant by hashtag um, from black power to magical power. The war is astral now. And this is why Mortal Kombat is up in this, this lecture because I watched that and it blew my mind. The second movie in a way, Annihilation. Um, the... The, the war is astral now because, as y'all notice, the world is getting lighter and lighter. So, 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 so we no longer vibrating on just the physical. It's becoming more like the astral plane, if y'all have noticed. See what I'm saying? It's becoming, it's becoming more and more like, oh, wait a minute now. Uh, I can do this now. I can do that now. Your ability is easier to, to, to access. Your psychic ability is easier to use. And, What's more, the visible effects of your psychic abilities are easily seen now because you're on the astral plane, because you're working through um, 
uh, other realms which are actually merging with Earth. All, all Earth realms are merging slowly with it. And so you're starting to see glimpses of all the other planes all around Earth. Because the planes right next to us, whether they next to us, above us, below us, below us, or whatever. But they all around us. You see what I'm saying? All it takes to even see these planes is a shift of consciousness. It's a shift of mindset. You see what I'm saying? And and, and you're going to start to notice that... Uh, that uh, uh, you're gonna start to notice that oh, this, this, it, it looks different now. Like when I used to sun gaze back in the day, after I got through sun gaze, and I noticed that I would peer into a whole other dimension of it, it looks just like the astral plane. And sometimes, sometimes, depending on uh, how real it gets on some days, I peer into the etheric plane. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 it was a soul plane, you know. So, so, so this is what we deal with. This is what he says next. After he says the revolution is no longer physical, it is astral. He said, so ladies and gentlemen, take up your soul weapons and fight the power. The cabal and not each other. The cabal elites and not each other. Yeah, because, you know, uh, we got, we got, we got, uh, like they tell you in the Bible, we do not fight the flesh. We fight those principalities, those authorities, those those dark powers. This is what he's talking about. The cabal fucking up. The, been fucking up the planet for like the last 2,000 years in their rulership during the lunar cycle. So, 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 he, his message to you is stop fighting each other and focus on your enemy. Because the more you focus on each other, destroying each other, they, they win by default due to us infighting. You see what I'm saying? That's, that, that, that's what he basically saying. We supposed to be fight. We supposed to be focused on our enemy. We so busy attacking each other because we live in what uh, Nicola, Niccolo Machiavelli called in the Prince. We live in an e ecclesiastical principality, which is a uh, principality that deals mainly with um, God as the as the primary force. But the problem is with this principality, everything seems far away. The elites feel far away. You see what I'm saying? Everybody feels far away. That's in power. That, that's, that's the illusion that this particular principality creates. There are other principalities as well, but we live in America, so that's what we're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? So now, uh, so, 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 that's what he's saying. We, we fighting against those principalities, those, 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 uh, programs that they created, uh, in this matrix to hold us down and hold us back. And we fighting against them because they're creating these programs to hold us down and hold us back. So that's what he's saying. He said, he said, so ladies and gentlemen, take up your soul weapons. Notice he said soul weapons, not just your physical weapons. Nah, because the battle is fit, the battle, the battle is astral. It's not really physical now. In the physical, it's just an information war. It's just our information, which is the information of the creator and truth versus that information, which is the information of tyranny, tyranny and oppression. That's basically what the war is on the physical. So, 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 and then he said, and fight the power, the cabal elites and not each other. So, 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 that's what he said. And then it ends there with sincerely Hugh P. Newton of the Black Panther Party. So, 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 that's what the uh, meat of this lecture is really about. Uh, him giving you this, this, this message. You see what I'm saying? Uh, him giving you this message. He telling y'all like, nah, um, the reason why we start losing is first due to infight. That's why he said don't fight each other. Because the Black Panther Party has already made this mistake of fighting each other. And it was infighting that allowed the COINTEL Pro uh, agents to come in, infiltrate, and start assassinating all the leaders. Because they start fracturing and, and becoming more tribal. See what I'm saying? So, 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 so there you go. So we don't want to make that same mistake twice. See what I'm saying? And so, so this, 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 this is what we're dealing with here. This is what we're dealing with. Uh, and then I was watching, I'm going to go ahead and go with more to come back before I do the movie Us, since how we're dealing with uh, the astral plane and everything. Now, I watched more to come back Annihilation. You know, old school. You got this first more to come back too, but I'm going to focus on the second one because that's the one that's, that, that's deep. The first more to come back most people resonated with at this time because it taught you how to become God, which most movies, that's what they teach you, the Matrix, uh, Star Wars, 
all that. They just teach you how to become God in most of those movies. But every now and then, they'll let some slide, like more to come back Annihilation, where they teach you what happens after you become God. Like the Matrix Reloaded and the Matrix Revolutions. That's what they was about. So, 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 this particular movie here will teach you what happens after you become God. And what happens? It's immortal comeback. Uh, you, 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 you gotta deal with these corrupt old gods who's been helping, who, who, who has been helping the cabal keep this shit down. It ain't just, it ain't just ETs. This is, this fucking actual deities that's helping them lock this shit down from, um, uh, throughout the, um, um, universe, magical planes, multiverse, whatever. So, so, so it's actual deities. And so that they, 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 in this, in this particular Mortal Kombat, I want y'all to go see this after, after this lecture. Uh, you see this happen in the movie. This immortal combat between these deities. I'm, I'm gonna go over who they are. You got, uh, Liu Kang, which is Heru. You got Raiden, of course, Shango. You got Shao Kahn, which is Baron Sumdi. You got, uh, you got um uh Melina, which is Oba, the 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 uh Orishan deity Oba, who is the matriarch. You got Sonya, which is who is Sekhmet. You got uh Johnny Cage, who is the ancient Egyptian god Kunsu. Now they crucified Johnny Cage in this movie. Y'all know this, right? And when they crucified, guess what rolls about the ground? The small beast. That rises up out of the earth in the book of Revelation. You see what I'm saying? In the book of Revelation, he was crucified on the uh, on the on the beast. Why was he crucified? Remember, he a moon he a moon deity. So they was crucified the lunar cycle, the Piscean age on the small beast. You see what I'm saying? The Baphomet. The small beast is the Baphomet. So, 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 and it represents your soul as it operates through this physical body. Cause it's able to do signs and wonders through this physical body. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 this, this, this is what's happening here. And you got other characters. You got Jax, who represents Anubis. You got, uh, um, uh, Jade, she represents Oya. Um, you got Katana, Oshun. You got, um, who else, who else, who else? Um, who else? You got then you got Shinnok and, and, and Fujin and all them. Then the primordial guys, that's like the older one in ancient Egypt. Then the primordial deities there. Uh, then the deities, primordial deities are nothing but beings that's on the other side of the equation, uh, putting in work for the most part. Um, let's see who else on our uh, uh, Shao Kun's team. You had the centaur, which is centauri energy. Here's yeah, a whole constellation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, 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 um, you got, uh, Shiva, she, Shiva, yeah, Shiva, who, uh, represents Kali, you see what I'm saying? And then you got Rain, who represents, uh, Olokun, the Orishan deity, Ol 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 deity, Olokun. And then you got, uh, Sekta, who represents Ogun, and then, I think that's everybody, yeah, Sekta represents Ogun. So, 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 so there's everybody. So, so you got these dead. Oh, I'm missing a few. You got, uh, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero represents the Winter Solstice, by the way. And he always fighting who? Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah, and that's Scorpio. You see what I'm saying? That they're dealing with the, uh, Zodiac sign Scorpio. So they always battling each other. You see what I'm saying? Cause Scorpio represents death and rebirth. And the Winter Solstice just represents death. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It represents the, it, it represents death in the most spiritual time of the year. So that's why he cold, because that's the coldest time of the year. See what I'm saying? That's why his ability is ice. So, so, so they, they, they blow your mind. Scorpion, you know, he a Scorpio, so he be like, get over here. Just like you tell your lady in the bed, hey, get over here. Let's get it. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So, 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 so there you got the two little robots, Cyrax and Smoke. They just represent their archons, ego, you know, that shit there. So, 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 so that, that, that's what you're dealing with here. That, that, that's, that's the, that's the program you're dealing with. But, but, uh, these are number deities, y'all. These, these are number deities playing a role in this movie. And, and, and you got the earth realm, which is what we in now, the physical. And then you got outworld, which is the astral plane. You see what I'm saying? Then, um, you got one other character, Noob Cyborg, and he Osiris. 
because he was Sub Zero in the first Mortal Kombat, but he died and came back to life as resurrected his new Cybot. So he was Osiris in this movie. So 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 they play they playing a heavy heavy game in this movie. Uh he they 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 playing a heavy game with the deities. And so so and 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 they going to war with each other in Mortal Kombat. You see what I'm saying? They they going to war. Uh shit, they fighting. Baron Sun they fight Shango for 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 to, to for for uh cause cause uh Raiden Shango is an elemental deity whereas um Shao Kahn, Baron Sumdi, is a god of death in the underworld. You see what I'm saying? So you see, you see what they're doing here? And what's going on in this movie is that the, 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 these deities are being shuffled around to, to show you something, right? Now, who is Liu Kang? Heru. So he represents the new god, God Now, uh, us rising up again. You, they show you that at the end of the movie where he walks up the pyramid. Well, he'll send the back up to his crown. You see what I'm saying? And who own who own the uh, throne? Uh, you looking at uh, Shao Kahn, Baron something? You go with Shinnok, he'll primordial deity, but he played the role of Sith in this movie. You see what I'm saying? You see that session energy. So, 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 uh, so uh, they battled each other. And Shao Kahn represented the old gods, the ancient world, and how they had they they was in power. They had all the power, but they were just fucked up. Their heart chakras was fucked up. You see what I'm saying? They they heart chakra was fucked up, and and they was just going around destroying realms, which is represented by Edenia being destroyed. They was just they were just fucking shit up with their powers, their magical powers. So 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 there was a decree from the creator that uh everybody's higher self gets shut down. You see what I'm saying? They had they had they had to start descending for the next twelve thousand years. It started in twelve thousand BC and all the way down to two thousand AD, which is a twelve thousand year cycle. You see what I'm saying? Then the last uh, twenty five to thirty five years we living out now is is the is the uh, changing and shifting of the age. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, two thousand twelve on some calendars hadn't even happened yet. How about that? Um, on the Ethiopian calendar, two thousand twelve ain't for another year or two. Ah, so, 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 so you ain't even, this shit ain't even start cranking up yet. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. So, uh, this, this, this was going on in this movie. Uh, it's just the old gods, the old ancient gods versus the new gods. You see what I'm saying? That's rising up again. And, and they showed you in the movie how outworld and the physical world or third dimensional world earth starting to merge together. And the more they merge together, the more people start to get caught up in between realms and they and they get wiped out because they ain't vibrating on the same frequency as these particular deities. You see what I'm saying? They 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 ain't they ain't they ain't they ain't did the chakra work, you see what I'm saying? They need the internal work, which uh, all these particular warriors went through in the first Mortal Kombat. You see what I'm saying? They went through this they went through the tournament, the Kumite, to 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 uh the Kumite is just the magical training ground that you go through in this particular movie to become God again. You see what I'm saying? That in your internal self, you receive training to uh to to go up these uh, rise up these chakras. Um, yeah, to rise up these chakras and 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 um have your Kundalini awakening and become one with the Creator again. That, that, that's what it's all about. That's what it's always been about. You see what I'm saying? So 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 they did that in the first Mortal Kombat. Now they gods trying to find their place in the world again. Cause they rising up now. They 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 know they God, but now they just trying to find their place, they stands in creation. You see what I'm saying? In the force, in the source. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 but they tell you what it is about. The creator gave you a prophecy. The prophecy is y'all arise again and take y'all throne. Once again. So they showed you this in the movie. What happened? Um Liu Kang went on his journey of the hero. You see what I'm saying? Check that out. Joseph Campbell. The journey of the hero where the hero got to go out. Um, fights all, uh, face all type of obstacles. And um, get stronger. You see what I'm saying? Become more resilient. Become Have more endurance. More speed. More strength. More power. You see what I'm saying? More internal energy to do to, to fight these new level of gods. You see what I'm saying? Because the old gods been in power. You see what I'm saying? They got their power. So now you got to rise up to them so you can 
go to war with them so you can topple them and, and, and we can all ascend to the new age, which is the Aquarian age. See what I'm saying? So that's what's happening in this movie. You see what I'm saying? This, this, this is why it's deep. This why this this why it's real in this movie. Yeah. Um, and uh, he goes on a journey, and I want to point out Nightwolf, which is why I haven't mentioned him yet. Now you know my, uh, Nightwolf represents the most indigenous ancestors, the the, the indigenous animus, animism, and animalism. If y'all ever heard of it, um, how animal animism is the teaching that everything has a soul and a life energy. Because everything spawns from Earth's soul. You see what I'm saying? And the multism teach you that you can harness the power of your consciousness, your chi, your will to manipulate everything in the environment. Like the force in Star Wars. Like what the Jedi did. You see what I'm saying? So he went he went and sought out Nightwolf to learn these new lists. And what Nightwolf tell him. Like uh he, he appeared to him as the long wolf. You know, the wolf, the wolf, the uh, the spirit animal of the wolf represent what? It represent it, it represent um, the teacher, the spiritual teacher that comes uh, when the student needs help. You see what I'm saying? The spiritual master that comes when the teacher needs help. And he appeared to him as that wolf. And then he transformed metamorph back. Because, you know, we used to shape shift into anything we wanted to. So, you know, that, that's old, that's old ancient uh, powers there. So so that we that we started to tap back into now. So what what happens next, y'all? He 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 talking to uh Night Wolf and he uh Night Wolf give him a deal like I teach him, but there's an easy way and there's a hard way. There's a fast way and there's a and there's a slow way. Well Luke Hang was like, I ain't got time for the uh slow way, so he hit his ass with a fucking what? Tomahawk. And, and <laughs> tomahawk. That's all history, you know. You ever studied the conquistadors and their writings, they tell you that these motherfucking Aztecs had enchanted tomahawks and, <laughs> and shit that they had to deal with. And that shit was slicing through the armor and taking their asses out. Because I don't want y'all to think that the conquistadors conquered all of South America. No, they only conquered like a city or some shit, like a region or a district. It took them, it took them the next 300 years to finally shut that shit down. Don't, don't, don't let history fool you. Uh, they didn't kill off everybody. They only killed off like a sector. You see what I'm saying? And then, and then, motherfucking, they, uh, them, 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 them fucking giant Incans, them, them, them 12 foot motherfuckers start coming out of the jungle and start fucking their asses up. So they retreated. So, so, so know your history, people. Know your history. Don't, don't, don't let these niggas tell you, uh, your history. Uh, them, 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 them guys start rising up. Them black terminators start rising up and tearing their asses up. Predators. Uh, and so they left them alone for a while until, you know, they could figure out some strategies to, 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 to shut them down. And they didn't shut them down for like the next 200 years. Uh, it, it took them a while. Um, they had to give them games. They had to do all type of shit to dilute the genetics. You see what I'm saying? And, and make them smaller. You know, make them lose light so they get smaller. That's why you're smaller now. You lost light. You lost consciousness. That's why you five, seven, six feet. When you're supposed to be 9, 12, 15, 20 feet. See what I'm saying? So so this is what you're dealing with here. Now, getting back to the movie here. Um, um, what what, 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 what uh, Luke Kane had to learn, he had to learn how to fight from within. He had to find his animality. And what was his animality, which was the most interesting thing in the movie? His when when he tapped into his internal um um animal spirit, animal energy, it was a dragon. Which is Kundalini. I was like, oh they oh they ain't playing this shit. I was like, oh god damn, they 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 for real here. They 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 serious. See a lot of people hated this movie because you have to already be God to decode this grimoire, this visual grimoire. You see what I'm saying? You just can't you just you can't be a god in training. You gotta already be God to unlock these secrets. And um and what's happening here is he, he unlocks his animality, then him and his team get together. Now where do they get together at? They get together at the temple of the elder gods, which is us. You know, the black man and black woman. They cause cause Raven went to go speak with the elder gods. And and, and I, I had a picture of that on Facebook. And what he what he went and set in, he went and sat in a circle with a dragon, Kundalini, encased in. Anytime you see dragons in these martial arts movies, 
it's, it's, it's Kundalini, the last dragon with Bruce Leroy. Enter the dragon with Bruce Lee. You see what I'm saying? She, uh, the way of the dragon with, uh, with, uh, what's my boy's name? Ron Van Cleef. You see what I'm saying? Way of the black dragon. You know, they ain't never the melanated Kundalini. You see what I'm saying? See what they doing here? So, 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 uh, the, 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 that's what's happening. He went to go speak with the other gods. They gave him three questions. And, uh, he, he, he was like, why, why is this happening? Uh, they broke the sacred rules or whatever, you know. And what uh, what sacred rules did they uh, break? You know, the rules that uh, once you win Mortal Kombat, you can't, you know, you can't, uh, you, 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 you can't have this tournament for another generation. Now, what they mean by um, the portals remain open because Ray told them what can be open, what can be closed can be open again. Uh, the cycles will change. That's basically what was happening. Uh, and Shao Kahn knew this, so he took Shao Kahn and Shinnok knew this, so they took advantage of it and attacked Earthworld. So, 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 this, this was happening here. So, so, uh, they meet up at the Ill Temple, they go into the Outworld, the Astral Plane, because you got, that's where the battle is. The battle wasn't in the Earth realm, for real, you know, you know, they had a little skirmishes or whatever. You know, every time, every now and again, it'll leak over into the physical plane, but for the most part, the main battles took place in the astral, if y'all noticed, in our world. So, 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 um, things were played around and they get to the final battle where everybody meet up. Now, what I want to let y'all know, this is where it gets good. Ray walks out into Shinnok and Shao Kahn. Come to find out, Ray, uh, Shinnok, I mean, yeah, Ray, Shinnok, and Shao Kahn are all related. They family members, and they wear the crest of a dragon on they uh on their back to hit. And this dragon allows them to, uh a easy access to transfer between the portals to different realms. I like, oh yeah, that's Kundalini. That's that's that that's you. That's you traveling using your macabre to travel to different places. I mean, goddamn, they they not playing here. <laughs> they 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 they. they, they Y'all wonder why y'all ain't got a second more to come, a new more to come back movie. This is why. This is why right here. Um, and what happened here? Shinnok wanted, um, wanted, wanted them to, wanted Raiden to take his place. But Raiden didn't want to take his place because they, they was heartless. They was old guys. So they heart chakras was fucked up. And he knew it. And Raiden even said it. It's not wrong. It is not a crime to value life. And that's when uh, Shao Kahn shot him with a green skull. Now, skull means skill. It represents the power of the ancestor, all that. So, 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 this, this is what you're dealing with. Now, he shot him, and he died. Once again, you get, you're getting his Christ energy. He, he got crucified. He he got crucified. Um, and later on, he will rise up again and become an elder god. Now that's your story. That's our story, the black man and black woman story there. You know, the indigenous black man and black woman, because we the elder gods and goddesses on the planet. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so this is what you this is what you're dealing with here. This is what you this is what you're dealing with. Uh now, Liu Kang and his team clash with Shao Kahn and his team. Battle of the gods. You see what I'm saying? They went to war with each other. They just went to war. The war in heaven. This is what they talking about. The war in heaven was the war in the astral plane. How about that? Um, <laughs> war, war, war in other dimensions. High dimensions. You see what I'm saying? It, it, she, so, 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 so they went in. They, they, they went in on each other. They fought. Uh, and slowly but surely, uh, Luke Kang's team started uh, winning and defeating the old gods. Now, uh, there was a scene during this battle where Liu Kang transformed into his full dragon, into his full Kundalini power. And I find it interesting, Shao Kahn said, impressive, you came prepared. Notice what he said. You came prepared. You came uh, in your full God force, your full God power. You see what I'm saying? This what this this what this what we dealing with here. Your full god power, and he transformed to a goddamn some some type of fucking four <laughs> five headed hydra, which is another form of a dragon, but it's a more evolved form of the dragon because it has multiple heads. 
multiple levels of intelligence, higher levels of Kundalini consciousness. You see what I'm saying? Multiple levels of Kundalini consciousness. So they went playing. And the new guy and the old guy clash in their guy forms. You see what I'm saying? In their full Kundalini power. They battled or whatever. Uh, things happen. And finally, uh, Liu Kang gained some ground over Shao Kahn and they went down. And then after that, he went on to beat Shao Kahn, defeat him, and, and become the new guys. And, and, and this team became the new guys on the block. You see what I'm saying? So there you go. So, so, so they rose up. Uh, uh, they, they, they came back to a new earth. How about that? They, they low key, they, they, low, they low key slid that in there after they won the war in the Astral Plane. They won the war worlds, the war in the heavens. You see what I'm saying? After they won that war, they was on the new earth. Everything was different. Hell, shit. Oshun got her mother back. Hell, which was which was over. You see what I'm saying? So 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 this shit this shit was deep, y'all. This 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 this, this was they weren't playing. Oh yeah, you have also have one more character in there called Baraka, which represented your lower self. Uh which is what we about to get into with us. Which is why I say that character for last. You you we want to get into the movie Us now. We we gonna go from the astral plane to what's going on on the physical, which is what us is all about. Now I had to take notes because this movie was real deep, and it got a lot to do with you, black woman, and it got a lot to do with the rise of the divine feminine and the resurrection of the dead. So, what was us about? Now, the movie had multiple symbols in this movie here. We we talking about deep deep symbols. Um. But 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 we gonna take what happened in Mortal Kombat, and we gonna we gonna talk about what's going on. If Mortal Kombat tell you what, uh, uh, how they went to the astral realm and to the new Earth, telling you the future events, well, us are telling you what's happening in this moment right here. So, what's going on? The move, the, the main theme of the movie was mastering self. Let's, let's get let's not get that twisted. And pretty much the movie was clear cut. For for most of the characters and for for all the characters in the movie itself, for uh, Lupita, uh, either you conquered your lower self, or you got devoured by your lower self. That's it. There 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 was no there was no other roundabout way of saying it. That's why he made it a horror movie. Either you conquer your lower self, or you get devoured by your lower self. Ain't no in between there. He made it as clear cut as he possibly could. So what happens? We start at the beginning of the movie. And what's going on in the beginning of the movie? The beginning of the movie is um um this this little this little girl, you know, a a, a young guy sick, a young, a young sick mit, and she's out with her parents at a carnival, and they just enjoying themselves and Having a good time, and while she's sitting there at the carnival, she has an apple in her hand. Notice that. So that's that. Apples represent the pineal gland in most stories and movies. Um, it, it either represent the pineal gland, or you getting ready to come to knowledge yourself. One of the two. One of the two. That's why. That's why Eve ate the apple in the Garden of Eden story. She came into knowledge herself when she ate the apple. It represented the pineal gland. So, so, so this is what you're dealing with here. Uh, so she go, she, um, she hanging out with her dad or whatever. Mom go to the restroom and she hear a thunderstorm. Now what's the thunderstorm represent? That's the creator calling her because, uh, uh reminded her of the prophecy that it left her. So that's why all of a sudden she was drawn to uh, she was drawn to uh, this particular place. Now, when she as she was passing by, she was reading the signs, and one of them was Jeremiah eleven eleven, which I read Jeremiah eleven eleven. It's just like it's pretty much basically saying, uh, "And the evil forces will come after you and destroy you." The, the evil forces that he talking about is that the Bible is talking about is the forces of your lower self. Can't come and you destroy yourself long before anybody on the physical come touch you. Long before, but long before any soul come fuck fuck you up or something like that. You destroy yourself. The series of actions you took to get to that point destroyed you long before you got to that point. 
So, so this will happen. So she go down to the beach. She looks at the storm, which now she doesn't need the creator. The storm is the creator. So she turn around and she go into a particular um it was it was a building and this building was called Merlin's Forest. And up under it, it said, find yourself. I was like, oh shit, here we go. Now Merlin's Forest is some is some uh King Arthur legends here. And what, what, what let's see, what, what what was it called? What was it called? Um uh, it's called uh its original name is Brosa Leyunde. Brosa Leyunde, yeah. And it was known as the Forest of Magic and Mystery. It was it was a forest of magic and mystery where you go get tested. But in the movie, it represented her heart chakra because it was a forest. And she and you can only find yourself when you start fucking with your heart chakra, your 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 inner intelligence, your heart intelligence, your heart soul. You see what I'm saying? So she go in there and guess what it was? It was a room full of mirrors. But before that, what she seen? What animals she seen? What animal spirit she seen? She seen the spirit of the owl. Now, what the owl represent? The owl is wise because it can see through the darkness. You see what I'm saying? It can see through the darkness of night. So, 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 so it can see, it can see, it can see through the bullshit, the ignorance. That's what the owl represents in the in period, not just in this movie. So she walked through the mirrors, looking at her reflection, and what she run into. She run into her other self, her lower self. Now, her lower self, which is where most motherfuckers, uh, most people in this movie uh, got messed up at, her lower self actually took her down into her root chakra. <laughs> and she and it was her unconscious self as well. Because when you only vibrate at your root chakra, you unconscious. You ain't subconscious, you unconscious. And, um, and it switched places with her and rose up into her heart chakra. You see what I'm saying? But what's what's going on here? What what, what what's happening here? Why? Why? Why 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 did they let this why why did John Poor uh John Peel put this twist in here? Well now, actually she Lupita told you in the movie, there's only one soul, but it's split in two. What does that mean? The one soul split in two is the higher self and the lower self. What you witnessed with that twist was the high self fell into the root chakra or hell, which is what happened with Lucifer when he fell from heaven. The lower self rising into the heart chakra and then eventually on up into the crown represented uh, hell root ascending back to his crown or Lucifer ascending back to his crown. So it's a dual story happening at the same time. One fell, one rose. You see what I'm saying? And in and, and, and chapter 11, that same Lucifer who fell to his root chakra was the same Lucifer that rose up through 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 uh, through finding his heart, his heart intelligence again, rose up and became one and like the most high creator, the creator. See what I'm saying? So, so, so there was no there was no uh, uh, separation here. It was it was all one thing. It was just, he was just showing you what happens when you fall versus what happens when you rise. And so the whole movie, the lower self rose back up. Uh, because now her higher self, the high, the high self, uh, Lucifer fell into the root chakra. So it lived the life of a person who just fucked only with their lower self. Whereas, um, the lower self rose into the heart chakra plus and it lived the life of what happens when you live in your higher self. So, so, so the lower self, uh, like always, after a while, got sick of the shit and staged a coup, a, a revolution. But in reality, it just represent the lower self running rampant. You see what I'm saying? What happens when your lower self get out of control? It starts to fuck with your life. <laughs> Basically, what they showed you in this movie, it started fucking with you. It start tearing your life apart. You see what I'm saying? When 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 you indulge in it too much, so 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 that's what happened. So 
what happened here. Um, the family showed up at their doorstep. You see what I'm saying? Uh, their their Lord sales showed up at their doorstep to show them that when you when when you ignore when 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 you don't balance out your lower self with your higher self, it's gonna raise hell, which is all you seen throughout this movie. Now, 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 uh, y'all seen the movie, or y'all gonna go see the movie? I ain't gonna tell too much of it. Um, but pretty much they go to war with each other, they fight. They either had to kill their lower self, which is represented by conquering your lower self, or their lower self killed them, which is represented by the lower self devouring them because they wasn't strong enough to balance them, their lower selves out. You see what I'm saying? So so that's what they tell you. That's what's happening here. That's what I meant by you destroy yourself long before uh, anything on the physical happens to you. Right? Right? Now, this is where it get good. This is why I said... This is where we get to the part where um, this is all about the black mo black woman's rise and the resurrection of divine feminine. Everybody else's story in the movie was clear cut. You you pretty much could figure it out. Lupita's storyline is the only one that was different for the most part. We could say um, that was different. And when when you when 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 you get there, when you get to the metaphysical level, when on the, uh, comprehending this movie, you realize that. All this shit that happened in this movie started in the mind of the black woman. Cause this is y'all world. This is this is this is this is your way. This is your creation. So it started with you first, and then it trickled down to everybody else. So 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 this is this is what's going on. So what had to happen? Uh, after after um, the lower self started running rampant, started fucking shit up. Um, Lupita had to go check that shit. You see what I'm saying? Lupita had to go check it. Like, I gotta go do something before it destroy every, every, devour everything, right? Now, I find it interesting that the, everybody who's on, vibrating on their lower self was, uh, holding what? Scissors. What do you do with scissors? You sever shit. You, 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 you disconnect from whatever is holding you back. That's what you use scissors for, to slice through things. But, also a symbolism for um for 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 um the scissor is it also represents the unification of the spiritual and the physical. So 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 there's also opportunity there. Where there's separation, there's also opportunity for unity. So so that's that's the duality with the scissors. You either cut, sever and ties, or you're trying to destroy the old so you can unite with your spiritual self. So this is what this is about. This is why they was rocking scissors. And another uh, symbolism in the movie, which was the bunny. What was up with this bunny? Well, if you um, if you know anything about Native American science sciences, uh, they teach you about the, uh, the spirit animal and what the different spirit spirit animals represent. And when you're vibrating on the frequency of that particular spirit animal, you start to showcase its abilities. In this uh, characteristics, well, the characteristics of the bunny is uh, the bunny represents uh, and people who uh, vibrate on the but with the bunny total totem represents unpredictability, spontaneity, quick reflexes, good coordination. They even said that in the movie they had good coordination and they had good reflexes here, and it was unpredictable and spontaneous. Uh, they were also observant. They was also um, uh, aloof, intelligent, and quick witted. Now that's that's this that's this whole movie. So so that's why he he matched it with the bunny, cause the bunny was the most powerful animal in this movie. You see what I'm saying? Cause that's what they was vibrating on. The the um the bunny told them they was even eating the bunny shit for for sustenance. So 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 that's what they was vibrating on the uh, the bunny energy. And they also you've seen a lot of five symbolism, which is you know five elements: Baphomet energy, Sophian energy. Uh, so 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 that's what you that's what that's what you were dealing with him. So 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 now what happens next? Um, what happens next is they 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 they, they go in. They they, they uh, she had to fight. It comes to a final confrontation where she had to fight her lower self. For dominance, right? 
Uh, she had, she she went back into the forest. She she hits the owl, which lets you know she conquered the uh, owl in, owl's energy. She goes and uh, through the uh, uh, trap door, secret door, down into her subconscious mind and down into her unconscious mind, which is also a root chakra. And what she finds, she finds rooms, uh, this a motherfucker was learning and doing shit, and bunnies everywhere. Hell, she goes into the room where her uh, where her lower self was at, and her lower self, you know, just was just cutting out images, you know, cause they they they, they revolution was them holding hands, um, uh, celebrating, basking in the energy of the lower self, right? So 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 this is what they do dealing with him. So she asked him. She asked, and she came down there with what? The sword in her hand. The sword is what? Excalibur. Uh the Excalibur. Uh, her lightsaber. Her jet pillar. Her, her 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 Kundalini energy. She was holding her holding in her hand. Her spine. You see what I'm saying? She 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 was on her, she was on her she she was on her night shit then. Ready to go to war, uh, ready to, ready to deal with this mystical war. You see what I'm saying? She, it was cause it was mystical warfare at this point. Yeah, cause when nobody in that room, but who? Herself and them goddamn bunnies. But the bunnies is just a spirit animal inside of herself. So, so it was just her and herself. So they battled, and I noticed they battled, but they 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 battled to the theme of her ballerina of, of uh when she found her path as a uh, dancer or ballerina. Now, why, what was the ballerina energy about? Well, he told you at the beginning of the movie that uh, she was telling her story. So they tell you right there, this is your story, black woman. Uh, you, you, This is your story. And you plan it out in your way. And this is all happening in your head. And at some point, you got to master your little self and come out this shit. That's basically what they're saying. Which uh, they went to war with each other. They fought each other. And uh, the higher self defeated the lower self, right? So and then at the end of the they, they they got into the ambulance, which is of course heart chakra, and uh they drove off and they seen them all holding hands, which was you know kundalini energy, but it's, it's vibrating on the root chakra because your kundalini is wrapped around your root chakra. You see what I'm saying? So 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 and but 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 and uh they it was all across the world. You see what I'm saying? You can see it as far as you can see. So they tell you like right now the world is vibrating. Most people on the planet is vibrating at their root chakra. And they need to come off that. Or they're gonna get devoured by their little cells. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's what's happening here. So what happens next? What happens next? They driving off, and that's when uh we see her get her memories back of her switching places with her lower self. Cause now she done conquer her lower self. So her and her lower self have become one. You see what I'm saying? So all the memories that her lower self had um uh came back to her. You see what I'm saying? So 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 this is what happened. But but she she completed her storyline because what she had on her face written in blood. She had the X. What the X represent? Well, X in the Sufi teachings represents um and you know it's the Roman numeral ten. But in 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 um Sufi teachings, the X represents the completed woman, the completed goddess. The completed man and the completed God. So, cause, cause 10 equals 1 and 1 equals oneness, you know, whole, androgyny. So, 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 so she had completed her journey. She had reached her crown at this point. You see what I'm saying? And, and the kid knew that was it, um, that, uh, the kid, you know, having intuition, he knew that, that, that was, um, a that was the original Lord Self who just climbed her chakras and became the new God that's on the block. You see what I'm saying? Reached a crown. So, 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 so. That's what this movie was about, child. It was about, it was about, it, it was deep. It, it was explosive. They gave you that King Arthur energy, Legend of the Sword, Excalibur, all that. See what I'm saying? You know, Set is Descension, Heru is Ascension. They they come together again as Set Heru, which is what you've seen uh, at the end of the movie. So, so, so. So, yeah. There you go. That's the movie. That's this lecture. So for the most part. Uh, so do y'all have any questions? Make sure I got everything. 
saying? Yeah, because they, they, they show gave you a lot of five symbols. I, mean, I got five on it. They even picked that song. He even picked that song, which is, you know, Baphomet and Energy. Five elements. <laughs> so, yeah. Any questions? Brandon Crystal Barack. Yeah, that means Lucifer who fell from the heavens like a lightning bolt. Oh, yeah. I ain't know that. That's what's up. Miss Mimi, we need to do a watch party. We have more to come back. <laughs> yeah, might have set that up one of these days. Any questions? Yeah, Brandon Christos, More to Come Back Annihilation is a classic. A classic that I, I, I uh, advise all y'all to take some time out to watch again now that y'all vibrating in your godhood now. Your deity hood. What's up, Rose Garcia? Great explanation. Uh, thank you. That's what we're here for. Help you get there. Didn't need me thank you. No problem. Well, if y'all don't have any questions, I'm about to get out of here. Uh, my name is Marvin Jones. Share this with your friends. Put the word out. Let them know where it is. And I'm out. Peace. Miss Mimi Allen. Oh, how about Jax? What did he was he? Oh, he was uh he was he was Anubis. He was a new he represented Anubis in this movie. Yeah, he was another god of the underworld who came who came to show out. <laughs> Any other questions before I get out of here? Well, all right, people. I'll check y'all later. Peace.